What's up, y'all? Snipes and Snarf Flats, your unauthorized place for Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm, Fox. I am your host, Jason, as always, and I just left Stuber. 20th Century Fox's Stuber. And I still think this is one of the most, like, just worst named movies in the world. Because if I just come at you and you've never seen the previews and I say Stuber, you're not going to know what the hell I'm talking about. But if you have seen the previews, you know that this guy's name is Stu and he drives an Uber. And that man is played by Kumail Nanjiani. And oh man, y'all, him and Dave Batista. Dave Batista plays the cop, the cop that has to go through LASIK surgery after going through just some extremities with this just major bad guy, you know what I'm saying? Giant heroin dealer. They're about to throw the case up to the feds now because it's been two years that he's been on it. He's lost a lot on it and he blames one thing and that's the fact that he can't see and he's losing his eyes. So he goes through LASIK surgery, right? Just so happens on the day that he gets the phone call of, oh, we know it's going down right now. And his daughter just so happened to bring him up to this century and put Uber into his phone. He has zero idea how to use it. He basically thinks it's a taxi. And he commandeers this poor Kumail Nanjiani's character who just wants to make a living and get by, you know what I'm saying, try to work as hard as he can to get there with his horrible job at a sports joint and then Ubering by night to get some extra cash. But, man, y'all, this movie, the concept seems like it's stripped right out of the 80s and one of those old 80s cop, uh, just strange romance type movies, you know what I'm saying, where you've got a cop and a criminal or a cop and just a bumbling idiot, just someone who just, you know what I'm saying, is not the action-based, just badass cop that this is, and... This is the perfect mix of people to do this. Like, when I saw the previews to this movie, I knew it was going to be something special. I, I had a feeling it was probably one of the most funny movies this year. And you know what? It could be. This movie was hilarious. And it was so much fun on top of that. Like I said, it felt like one of those old 80s movies where you had that cop that was just over-the-top badassery gets put together with this total opposite and they mesh so perfect remember when we used to have comic teams like you used to have people who you just you saw them together that's what they did like Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor or, or Laurel and Hardy to go back even further but those old comedy teams that we used to in fact we're kind of making one right now with Kevin Hart and The Rock these two, Dave Batista and Kumail Nanjiani, I could watch the chemistry between these two comedy wise was just great. These guys were hilarious. Now, fair warning, this movie is rated R. This is one of the first movies underneath this Disney empire that we follow that has been rated R in a really, really long time. They haven't associated themselves with a rated R movie in a long time. And there's a couple in the books now that they've bought out Fox. And so fair warning, this is very rated R. There's a little nudity, there's a little there's a little bit of everything in here when it comes to being rated R. So you might not want to take your little kids if you're one of those people who don't care if they see, you know, oh, it's just this or oh, it's just that. This is a little bit of everything, so be prepared for that. But man, oh man, y'all, there are some hilarious, like totally memorable moments throughout the course of this movie. And that's why I said I had so much fun watching. Like everyone was laughing. The chemistry between your two stars was great. The plot was just... It was, it, like I said, 80s movie, y'all. It had an 80s action movie plot even written all over it. Because, I mean, and it, it had its little twists and turns here and there, too, that truthfully kind of got me out of nowhere. And the other thing that got me out of nowhere is, y'all, damn it, Dave Batista is actually becoming an actor. I saw, now maybe just a couple hints, but there was a couple hints of moments in this movie where... He pulled out some real emotion, and I was shocked. Like, it, y'all, anyway, I love this movie. 
go see this movie. Not too many people were in the theater when I went to see this. I wasn't surprised. Like I said, one, it's got a horrible name. Like people like my dad, he'll never remember to go see this movie unless I stay on him and keep telling him to go see it because it's named Stuber and he's going to keep trying to remind himself what that is and it's going to sound like just something dumb, like a cartoon or something stupid. So he's going to be like, ah, Stuber, I don't watch that. But check this movie out. Out. This is everything Tango and Cash was. This is everything like your 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 Lethal Weapons and your. I just I I remember so many of these movies used to come out in the eighties, and it's been such a long time since we've got one. Like we've got versions of the Buddy Cop, but we haven't got versions of this like another twenty eight hours or twenty or another forty eight hours or forty eight hours where the cop. Basically, it takes someone hostage to be a cop with them for a day that's just some normal schmo or a criminal or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And this guy, he falls under the first of that. He's a total just normal schmo. And, y'all, these are a couple of people to watch in the game for the next, like, you know, The Rock. The Rock's become, like, some just bigger-than-anything-ever type person, right? He's a, just, he's a force to be reckoned with now when it comes to acting, so... To compare him to anyone but The Rock is something we just don't do because we have The Rock now and he's defined as just beyond action star. However, there's room for the next Stallone, the next Schwarzenegger, the next, and I think Batista is him. Oh, but he was great in this. Like he just, I loved this. But like I said, even more so, I loved the two of these guys going back and forth. They were hilarious. So if you're into that old 80s style of the high comedy meets high action chase scenes, like just a high octane boys movie. For those that still label things boys movie or girls movie. Like, this is a boys movie, y'all. This is like total just adrenaline rush but everyone's gonna love it because it's hilarious i just say boys movie because that's something i used to hear back in the 80s all the time when it came to movies like this you're you're just you you just relax and go for the ride i mean there's some far-fetched stuff that happens but it's so just it's part of what it is like it's, it's great man oh my god like the level of circumstance here throughout this movie i want to go back and see it again i wish i could have brought the theater to my wife so she could see it because she stayed home with the kid because i knew better after i started reading why this is rated r on whether to take her or not so i went solo to see this and dude the the small amount of people in the theater that was with me they loved it too hell even security heard us laughing and came in and watched it with us but it like i said it was great I definitely would recommend to go see this movie. If you've, all, if you've been into that high octane, like cop buddy thing, and you just you want to see something just funny as hell, no holds barred. Like I said it's not raunchy rated R, but it's heavily rated R. They don't pull no punches when it comes to their gunshots. Like there's some, there's some blood, there's some brutality, there's a whole lot of action, a whole lot of shooting, whole lot of f this, f this, some bitch go to hell, like. Whole lot of language. Um, there's there's actually not too much nudity. They, they go they do go to a male strip club and you do get to see some male a male genitalia at one point. And there is some lewd sex talk every now and then. So I mean, like I said, it covers all of its grounds, even if it doesn't do it lewd and lasciviously and in your face like and like every five seconds. It is a rated R movie, but like I said, it's a toned back one. It's not as much like I said it feels 80s, so I just can't help but keep saying, if you were into those 80s, early 90s action movies, you are going to love this movie. Go to the theater and check this out. You will not be disappointed. This movie was very funny. I see a big future for these two guys, and not just in, not only would I like to see these two characters specifically go on past Stuber and do other things. I want to see these two guys cast in other movies because I think they play off each other great. And I think this dynamic could be used many different ways like we used to and really get into that that old nostalgic feel movies have when you had a comedy team. This could be the next comedy team. I'm telling you, you got Rock and Kevin Hart. Now you can have these guys too. And great movie. I'm so excited. I'm going to do a longer written review for this. 
But honestly, I don't know how much more I'm going to add to it. Because, I mean, these people played their parts well. It's not a movie you go into looking for acting. I mean, you go into looking for this thing to be funny as hell. And I don't want to spoil any of the jokes by saying some of the things that were funny or even the situations that were funny. So, all I can tell you is this movie is funny as hell. And it's got a, just a great just action atmosphere to back it up. And, and a good little cop story, too. Like, I mean, it's like... It, it, it plays to the comedy and it plays to a believability of cop story that you're used to out of these cop movies in the long run. So I said, loved it. Go see it. I will do a written one. There might not be too much more building on it, but I definitely will. It's going to come after the weekend. It's a little later this time because, as you see, I'm a day late actually even seeing this movie. Didn't know if I was going to be able to make it out there or when. I got didn't get home till 3 o'clock last night watching this thing. But... Great movie. Go see it. Check down in the descriptions and subscribe. And there's a whole bunch more in the description of different links you can hit. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Hit all those and follow us on those so you're already up to date and you know where we're at and you know what's coming out next. The show's taking a hiatus. It's going to come back. And it's going to change a little bit. I've got some changes that I'm making to the actual show itself. And that's the reason why I've been off for so long. I am going to come back. We're coming back to a different day. We're going to start coming out on Fridays. And if there is a movie on Fridays, it will be replaced by that movie review. And whatever happened that week, we'll catch up with on the show on the next week. So, but Ben's it's summer. I'm probably going to just focus on these movie reviews because they're going to be hitting, it looks like, almost every week for a little bit now. Because... We've got Lion King coming up on Thursday, so I will see y'all again Friday for my thoughts on the live-action, not-so-live-action Lion King. But thoughts on Stuber, definitely go see Stuber. Hit this up. Subscribe to us. Hit the bell. Go down there in the descriptions and follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you know what's coming out when it comes out. And go see Stuber. It is definitely a five-star ride.